I Tony, do you think that if, if uh, do you believe in group hallucinations? I don't see, um, I, I don't see it's necessary to rule this out, but I think it's important to make a distinction that doesn't seem to be, have been made in the Gospels uh, between a group of people uh, seeing something severally and them seeing it together. Uh, you know, statements that uh, uh, these uh, things were afterwards seen by the Twelve. Uh, this is not a categorical statement that they were all together when they had the experience. What do you think, Gary? I think Tony's getting himself in a lot of hot water. Uh, number one, he's got an empty tomb with no cause ventured for the tomb. Yeah. Secondly, he's got hallucinations for the disciples that don't work for the half dozen reasons I gave earlier. Groups don't see hallucinations. Uh, they weren't in the right frame of mind. You have different times, play, places, people, gender, doing different things. The empty tomb, uh, it doesn't transform lives. James, Paul, all reasons. Hallucinations are pretty rare. I tell you the condi conditions under which they occur. Bodily deprivation, or when uh, someone's taking drugs, and these aren't the conditions of the disciples. So he says, no group hallucinations, but 10 or 20 people are having their own hallucinations without medical warrant. But he's got to have everybody having them. I think that's, I just, I just think it's a real issue. All these things I've got to do, if I was going to offer what I don't believe is possible for anyone to offer, a full naturalistic account of what was going on uh, there. But you're doing a good job, because he's got single hallucinations to everybody, a, a uh, hallucination wait, wait, to Paul. Uh, the, another thing that I've uh, noted in the last um, 15 years is that there are one or two very spectacular cases of mass hallucinations. The supposed miracle of Fatima, uh, you know. Or Medjugorje. Uh, uh, not many people were involved. How many were Yugoslavia. Involved? Yes, how many were involved? Tens of thousands. But, but, but the only problem with these, and with Fatima, where people come with the, with the so-called apparitions of Mary, is it, it's exactly the opposite of what the disciples are seeing. Because people go to Lourdes, or to Fatima, or to mm. Medjugorje, you've got 10,000 people watching the children watch Mary. The only problem is, the 10,000 people in the crowd don't see anything, except they see they see signs in the heavens, but they don't see Mary. Of course they don't see Jesus. No, so, but the, uh, the hallucination is the, the, seeing the ongoings in the heavens. Man. That's an illusion though, not an hallucination. If, if, if you're going to report that the sun is moving, remember Kent's differentiation between an illusion and hallucination? Well, an illusion is when you see something and think it's something else. An hallucination is when there's no objective referent. And so the, the people standing there in Medjugorje, they say they see signs in the heavens, but after all, there are stars, there are trees, there are mountains, there are sun. I mean, what, see, that what they say is the sun was moving and the stars were moving, but it really is a sun and stars. That's far different from saying they saw Mary. I mean, my point is yeah. that in Medjugorje, 99.9% .9 of the people do not see Mary. No, no. But with the disciples, you've got the whole group seeing Jesus. So I, don't, I just don't think it's an analogy. I think there's a real problem there using that. And I do, definitely don't think it's a mass hallucination because it may be a mass illusion. But illusion, once again, an illusion is when you see something, water on the highway, or take your hat off and put it on your bed at night and wake up and think someone's standing in your room, or a magician. Those are illusions. But hallucination is a much more radical concept. And hence what I'm saying, when he says 12 or 15 or 20 people have to have individual hallucinations, this is very radical, very tough to prove. 